Space. The final frontier? More like the final nightmare. Out there are places so hostile, so unforgiving that even imagining being near them will make you grateful for our cozy little Earth. From planets lost in eternal darkness, to cosmic death beams that could erase life in seconds. These are the most terrifying places in our universe. Let's start with one of the loneliest nightmares in space. Rogue planets. Imagine Earth, but without the sun. Astronomers believe rogue planets may actually outnumber the stars in our galaxy. That means for every star you see in the night sky, there could be two or more dead worlds drifting unseen in the darkness, completely invisible to the human eye. Some rogue planets could be massive gas giants even bigger than Jupiter. If one passed close to our solar system, its gravity could rip planets from their orbits, and Earth would be no exception. You might think they're all frozen wastelands, but some have molten cores, heated by radioactive decay or tidal forces from moons. That means entire oceans could exist beneath ice, alien oceans we'll never see, hiding life in complete darkness. Most rogue planets give off no light of their own, without a star to reflect they are cloaked in perfect blackness, a massive killer world that could be passing through our cosmic neighborhood right now. And we'd never know until it's too late. If a rogue planet's path crossed ours, it wouldn't need to hit Earth directly to destroy us. Its gravity alone could tear the moon from orbit, drag Earth into a new unstable path or fling us into deep space, ending life instantly. No sunrise, no warmth, no life. Just endless freezing blackness. Rogue planets are worlds that have been thrown out of their solar systems, doomed to drift alone in the void. Some might have been kicked out by a gravitational battle with a larger planet, others ripped away when their star died. Without a sun, their surfaces are unimaginably cold, hundreds of degrees below zero. And if you were standing on one, you'd see nothing, just an ocean of pitch black stretching forever. In the darkness between the stars, monsters are born. Magnetars, cosmic engines of destruction, wait, pulsing with unimaginable power. If black holes are the universe's jaws, magnetars are its claws. Their magnetic fields are so intense, they could erase a credit card from the distance of the moon. Get closer, and your very atoms would be torn apart, your body disintegrated by invisible waves of force. In 2004, a magnetar on the far side of our galaxy unleashed a flare so powerful it briefly ionized Earth's atmosphere. If it had been just 10 light years away our planet would have been scorched in an instant, a single teaspoon of magnetar matter would weigh more than Mount Everest. Their gravity bends space-time, crushing anything unlucky enough to come close. Magnetars live fast and die young. They flare violently, ejecting arcs of energy into space and then fade away, sometimes in just a few thousand years. Most terrifying of all, magnetars are silent killers. They hide in the darkness, invisible until they erupt. There could be one lurking right now just beyond our sight. Magnetars, reborn stellar monsters, remind us that the universe is not just beautiful, but deadly. In the cosmic dark, sometimes the scariest things are the ones you never see coming. Okay. This one isn't going to kill you instantly, but it's deeply unsettling in a way you might feel in your bones. Welcome to Cosmic Voids, the loneliest places in the universe. Imagine space as a vast three-dimensional web, the cosmic web, made up of countless filaments of galaxies. Each filament holds clusters upon clusters of stars, worlds, and light. But between these filaments, there are gaps. Not small gaps, but unimaginable stretches of emptiness. These are the voids. Some of them span hundreds of millions of light years across. If the Milky Way were unlucky enough to be inside one, you'd have to travel for billions of years at light speed just to reach anything. Floating in the center of a cosmic void, your view would be almost nothing. No familiar Milky Way band across the sky. No brilliant constellations, just blackness. Maybe, maybe a single faint smudge of light far away. The nearest galaxy, a lonely island in an infinite sea. And here's the part that makes scientists uneasy. We don't fully understand why these vast dead zones exist. The leading theory? They're relics from the universe's earliest moments. After the Big Bang, matter wasn't perfectly spread out. Some regions were dense and collapsed into galaxies. Others were left with so little matter that they never formed anything. But there are stranger possibilities. Some researchers have suggested voids might hide exotic physics, places where the laws of the universe work differently. Others wonder if the lack of light and matter could conceal something else. And the biggest one? The dark flow mystery. When astronomers mapped the motion of galaxy clusters, they noticed something strange. Clusters near the edge of our observable universe seem to be drifting toward a point far beyond what we can see. Some scientists think it could be the gravitational pull of something unimaginably massive outside our cosmic horizon, a superstructure, a wall, or maybe a cluster of universes. What does that have to do with voids? Some of them line up eerily with this direction, as if the void isn't just empty, it's being pulled towards something. If you were inside one, the silence would be absolute. No stars to navigate by. 
no planets to land on, no radio signals to pick up. Even if a spaceship did come looking for you, the distances are so great, the odds of finding you are essentially zero. In a way, it's not death that's terrifying here, it's eternity, drifting forever with nothing to mark the passage of time except your own thoughts. We think of space as empty, but cosmic voids, their emptiness at a scale that's almost hostile. They are the coldest, quietest, and loneliest places in existence. And if there's one thing more disturbing than knowing they exist, it's realizing we're surrounded by them. Now for one of the most sudden brutal killers in the universe, gamma ray bursts or GRBs. Picture this. Somewhere in deep space, a giant star reaches the end of its life. Its nuclear fuel runs out. Gravity wins. The star's core collapses inward, crushing matter into a black hole in less than a second. The outer layers of the star fall in, then rebound outward in a colossal explosion. But unlike an ordinary supernova, something far deadlier happens. Two relativistic jets of pure gamma radiation burst from the poles of the collapsing star, blasting into space at almost the speed of light. These bursts are blindingly powerful. In just 10 seconds, a single GRB can release more energy than our sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. And they're not just born from dying stars, some are triggered when two neutron stars, the collapsed cores of once massive stars, spiral together and collide. That cataclysm sends out gravitational waves that ripple across the fabric of space-time, and a burst of gamma rays that can travel across the universe. If Earth were unlucky enough to be in the path of one of these beams, the results would be instant and catastrophic. The gamma radiation would rip apart molecules in our atmosphere, shredding the ozone layer within seconds. Without that shield, the sun's ultraviolet light would sterilize the surface. The burst itself would ignite chemical reactions that could plunge the world into a deep freeze, killing nearly all life in a geological blink. Scientists even suspect that one of Earth's ancient mass extinctions, around 450 million years ago, may have been triggered by a gamma ray burst from a dying star halfway across the galaxy. It never touched us physically but its light alone was enough to change the course of life. The good news? GRBs are rare. The bad news? They are so powerful they can hit from billions of light years away and still cause devastation. And because their beams are incredibly narrow, you'd never know one was coming. Until the moment it arrived. In the quiet darkness of space there may already be a gamma ray burst aimed our way, its light racing toward us faster than we can comprehend. If it's out there there's no defense. Only the certainty that we'd never see the end coming.